Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sherry. In today's video, I'm gonna be talking to you about my Speedy Bandolier 20. This one is the new release model that came out sometime last year in September time frame. I was able to get mine in October. So thus, I paid the old price for this. So whenever you're watching this, you may notice that there was a price increase on this today uh, at midnight. So at midnight, this increased to $2,030 from $1,890, all right? So I'll take off the strap real quick, kind of give you a little turnaround of this cutie. And the inside is this cherry red color. So I wanted to talk to you today about this bag, do a little what's in my bag, and to ask the question, is this bag still worth it after the recent price increase? And kind of give you some pros and cons on if it's worth it and my thoughts on this bag. So it's going to be like a review of this bag as well, okay? So... If you're interested in this video, then please keep watching. All right, you guys. So the first thing I want to point out with this bag is that you do get this beautiful interior as I have already shown. And there is a pocket on this side. doesn't have a zipper or anything, but the pocket is large enough for you to put a card holder in. So it has that minimal organization. But the first thing I want to point out is just the interior color. I love that this has an option for this red color. I kind of wish it was pink, but I will take the red over the brown. I have a lot of monogram pieces that has that brown interior. And for me, I just find it kind of boring. I need a little something to my pieces to kind of jazz them up. And I feel like this just gives it that nice pop of color on the inside so that it's not like the traditional monogram canvas. And for those who are not a big fan on having anything on your bags or outside of bags, it just, it gives you that nice, pop of color to where it's not too intrusive in my opinion so I think that that's one of the pluses or pros about this bag all right so number two is the size of this bag I've shared in previous videos that I have the Speedy B 25 in the monogram and I'm not a big fan of that size as a crossbody bag because I feel like it's just it's still too large, even though it's a fairly small bag. Or I don't want to say small, but it's on the smaller side. But you can see how this rests nicely in my hand. I love that I can hold this bag in my hand, still look for the items that I'm looking for, or I can hold the top handle comfortably and I can get into this bag. And I'm able to just find what I need with this bag. The size is just perfect. It doesn't jet out from the body in a crazy way when you wear it crossbody. And that's the challenge that I had with my Speedy B25. So I like the size. It's like the perfect size, really. It's like a hybrid between the Nano Speedy and the Speedy 25 Vandalier version. All right, so you guys, number three about this bag is the zipper opening. I do like that this opening is larger and that it has a zipper that goes on the sides here. So you can get into the bag a little bit easier it, and you can put items in and out with having to scrape, without having to scrape your items on the zipper. So I think having the zipper extended is a plus, which is different from the regular Speedy B25 and the regular Speedy canvases. So that's number three. All right, for number four, I love that it has a detachable strap. Now, while this is not different from the regular Speedy Bs because those straps do come off, 
it's not the same case for the Nano Speedy or the old model. For the new one, yes, if you're able to get your hand on that. But for the old model of the Nano Speedy, that strap does not come off and you have to go through some really <laughs> risky process of cutting that strap off if you want to and using your own strap, which is fine. If that's the case for it, you can do that. What I do appreciate is that I can take this strap off, which a lot of people don't really like in terms of this because it's a canvas strap and the colors may not be kind of their flavor. But I like that I can add purse extenders to it because a lot of people do think that this strap is very short. So for anyone who is, you know, pretty tall, I'm not very tall. I'm just 5'3". And so I can add some purse extenders to this bag, extend this strap, and I'm not forced to have to look for another strap option. I can actually carry it with this strap or I could just simply use another strap. I can use my pochette matisse strap, which I have here, or I can use any other type of canvas strap that I've bought off the uh, secondhand market or whatever the case uh, you may be. If you have the uh, multi pochette, you can use that strap. I have a, uh, a similar strap similar to the multi pochette. It's not an authentic Louis Vuitton strap, but it is like a canvas strap that I just bought to wear with other bags. And so here, you see now the option you can have with purse extenders to lengthen the strap on the bag. And I think this looks actually cute on the bag. Now it would be ideal to get matching purse extenders where they're equal in length and it doesn't look too lopsided. These are not the same purse extenders, but on the body it's going to be crooked anyway so no one's going to tell that these are not the same length. But they're both the pearl detail. You can see that. Alright, so I like the option of having this detachable strap and extending this strap so I can still get my use out of this strap. And I can also use this strap on other bags. This strap will look really good. I have the Damier Azure uh, Felici. No, I have the Damier Azure Pochette Accessoire. And I can use this strap on that bag to kind of jazz it up and give it a little bit of the LV monogram flair to it. All right, you guys, for number four. It's going to have to do with the structure of the bag. I like that this bag is, while it is pliable and soft, it's very structured. So if you put your items in the bag and you don't have to worry about the bag sagging, I have a coach wallet right here. So imagine if you had like a Victorine wallet or something like that, you put that in there. You really won't get any sagging because there is something in the bottom of this giving it some structure. Okay. Let's see what other items I have I can put in here. Lip gloss. I wouldn't put items in here loose really. I would I would have them in something. Maybe you have a USB port. I don't know. You have your mask. I have a little key lock here that goes with it. I wouldn't put pens or anything. I have a little perfume. I would put this loose because you actually have to squirt this. So not a lot of items, but I don't carry a lot of items with me on a daily basis anyway. But as you can see, like there's no sag on this. It's like perfect. So I like that about the bag. All right. So those are my four things or five things that I would consider pluses about this bag. All right. So let's get to the cons of the bag. For me, I think the number one con is <laughs> all the vaquetta on the bag. I know that that comes with this bag and it's kind of the bullet you have to bite when you want this bag. So it is what it is, but it kind of makes you scared to want to carry it or scared you'll get it dirty. But you can treat the vaquetta so that it doesn't get stained or different things like that. So while it might, if, while it may be a con for some, it may not be a con for others. So I kind of knew that that was the nature of this bag when I bought it. So I was okay with that, but that could be potentially a, a con for some, okay? 
The second con is the hardware. And I'll talk about not so much as the hardware, but the design. You see the rivets, you know, these little gold rivets on the chaps. Okay, it has these gold rivets, traditional like every other uh, Speedy that Louis Vuitton makes. What I'm noticing is that when I store my bag like this, or laying down, so my, my bag has actually been laying down because it's still been in the box because I don't have room on my shelf yet. I haven't changed out my shelves. But what I'm noticing is that these little tabs are discoloring the vaquetta. And so now I have like little black marks or little indentations where the tabs meet, where it rests on here. So you'll have to be mindful and for me, what I'm doing is just taking a simple piece of tissue. I'm sticking that tissue in this little hole here, like this. You put that in there, and when you store it, this relieves a little bit of the pressure from the bag actually sitting directly onto that rivet. And so this is just, you want to be aware of that. That could be a con for some, but you want to be uh, aware of that when you're storing this bag. So even if you have it upright like this, the weight of these handles leaned against the rivet, you'll still have some pressure, even though it may not be a lot. So just be aware of that, okay? So the third con, I think, for this bag is that you still need an organizer for this bag. It is like a little black hole, kind of. As you see, I put my items in here and you see how they just shift around. There's no 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 organization. So like the other speedies, you will still have to get some type of organizer for this bag if you are one who likes for your items to just kind of be where you reach. I am like that. When I reach inside my bag, I like for my item to be where I put it. So, you know, I'm not searching for it and digging and moving things around and shuffling and frustrated and I'm, I, you know, I'm having to be just in the bag too much. So that's one of the things I know that I will have to get with this bag is an organizer. So I'm going to get that. And the last con now, which for me, it wasn't a con and it still may not be a con. So this one is kind of on the fence, but it's the price now. I, while I do think that this is a still a good price if you don't have a lot of bags in your collection or you want to get your first uh, Louis Vuitton bag or you just you want to add but you don't have a lot. The pricing may not be an issue but for someone like me who has a lot of Louis Vuitton bags already when I saw the price increase I thought to myself nah I'm not sure that this bag is worth it. I would go with the Speedy Bandolier 25, honestly. So, and even though that one did increase, I'm just not sure that this one is worth $2,000 over that bag when you can put a little bit more in that bag and you still get the option of taking off the strap, all those different things. This The, the pros and cons are so minute that I'm not sure that this is honestly worth it. And honestly, for me, it's a con, even if I didn't have a lot of bags, I, I probably wouldn't buy this bag over the Speedy B25. I actually would go for that one versus this one just due to the price. So on my list, the price is a con. All right. All right, you guys, that is it for this video, my review of the bag. Um, overall, I do like the bag. It is a keeper in my collection because for me, it was something that I felt like was missing, especially considering I do have the Speedy B25 and I really don't care for the size of that bag and that stripe down the side. This right here was kind of like that dream bag that I was hoping Louis Vuitton would make so I could get. So if I would I recommend buying this bag, you have to look at the pros and cons that I gave you. For me, it was a yes, hands down. Would I still buy it with all the cons? In my current situation, yes, I would probably still pay the new price and bite the bullet, especially if you have to try to find this on a resale market. Resellers are going to buy these bags and start hiking this price up. Fashion Files is going to get a hold of a lot of these and start hiking the price up. So your best bet is to just try to get this from Louis Vuitton. All right. All right, you guys, that for real, for real ends this video. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. 
Alrighty. Bye.